Ski season is again around the corner. Yay! So, I am going to do a review video of all the Andorran ski resorts so y'all could choose which resort is right for you to enjoy your skiing experience here in Andorra. I will also do skiing videos during the ski season like I did last year though we might go skiing in Austria, France, or Italy. We don't know yet, as it all depends on how much snow we will have this ski season, but I will definitely do weekly snow report videos again, so be on the lookout for them during the ski season, alright? Now, Andorra ski resorts are massively underrated even though it's a great place to ski with one ski pass for the whole country though. Y'all can just purchase ski pass for the area y'all want to ski at as well. Isn't that amazing and convenient? Plus, there are free buses to take y'all to the resorts like Arculus, Pal, and Arinsel. The whole country caters to skiing in winter, hiking with many trails with stunning mountain and lake views. Peak to conquer, nature surrounds this tiny little country. 25 years ago, it was rated as a budget ski place, rather like Bulgaria today, but Andorra ski resorts have changed so much since then. They are upmarket with fancy hotels and spas, which can definitely be compared to ski resorts in Austria, the French and Italian Alps, but with better prices. Um, and ski runs to match the runs in the Alps. I am happy to do this video to share my own skiing experiences in Andorran ski resorts, which I have skied in all of them. This video will cover all Andorran ski resorts, where they are situated, the town themselves, the snow conditions, plus a few tips and pointers. We will start with Grand Valera ski areas, then Arcalis, which sits by itself in Ordino, Pau and Arinsel in La Masana. Also, I will give y'all ratings for each ski resort at the end of each area. I will rate each ski resort in the order of skiing area for beginners, skiing for intermediates, skiing for advanced, OP skiing, family friendly, value, snowshore, accessibility, infrastructure, and last but not least, après ski. As it's very important to have a good time, you know, after a long day hard at skiing, we got to fight for the right to party. There are nine ski resorts in total, 300 kilometers of runs all together. Awesome, right? For such a small principality of a country. Gran Valera is the largest ski area in the southern Europe with 210 kilometers of run to enjoy. Good ski connections from one ski area to another as Gran Valera is made up of Encam, Canillo, Eldate, Sodeo, Coral Roach, and Pasala Gaza. There are chairlifts, jacklifts, gondolas, cable cars to take us where we want to ski. From the main towns, we have cable car to take us up to the main ski area. Then we can ski to all areas or pick an area and ski there. Some of y'all may stay at hotels that are right at the feet of the slopes. Or chairlifts is right at your doorstep. That's the best way. We also have the option to drive all the way to the ski resort of our choice as well. Parking is either free or very cheap. 5 euro 85 cent for a whole day parking at Ngam Funi Camp, for example. You can't beat that deal. In winter time, the drive to Gran Valera ski resorts can be extremely busy. 
but the solution is to take the Funicam at Engum, the first town in Gran Valera. The Funicam will take us to the top and from there we can just start skiing to whichever area we choose to ski in or ski in all areas. That will take the whole day for sure. One thing to remember there is only one road in passing through each ski resort and the same road out. So ski early or ski late but don't go the same time as everyone else does. The Spanish skiers usually start late in the morning like um, 10.30 a.m. Um, to 11 a.m. Then lunch around 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. So ski out of that time frame to avoid crowded slopes or waiting in line to get on the chairlift. And that's my tip from my experience skiing in Andorra. Well, if we are staying and skiing at the same resort, then it's easy peasy, right? Alrighty then, let's start with Ancom, the first resort in the main linked Gran Valera coming from Andorra La Vella, which is downtown Andorra. Ancom has the Funicam. 20 minutes ride take us up to the middle of the Gran Valera ski areas like El Tate, Sodero, and Canillo. The town itself is a dormitory town for mostly workers with a few ski rentals, shops, and restaurants right out at the very short main road. But apart from that, there's not much going on. It doesn't have a ski resort feel for après ski, though it used to be a very popular resort for Russian skiers to come to stay and ski with their flamboyant ski outfits. Fun to look at. Just my observation. Snow conditions in Ngam ski area are decent. I skied at um, and come many times, but just passing through, uh, they are all linked. I don't remember it being icy like the slopes at Canillo. Boy, even on a good snow day, there were some icy bits on the slopes as they were in the shade. Here is my rating for Ngam. Skiing area for beginners, 3 stars. Skiing for intermediates, 5 stars. Skiing for advanced, 5 stars. Family friendly, 3 stars. Value, 3 stars. Snowshore, 5 stars. Accessibility, 5 stars. Après ski, 2 stars. Infrastructure, 5 stars. So there we have it skiers, Funi Camp and Gum. See y'all later. Okie dokie, moving on to Ganillo. Now that's a ski resort with a high ski activities. Cute little town with a few mini supermarkets, an ice palace for ice skating, and quite a number of restaurants and bars. It's a popular place for Spanish skiers, so expect Spanish cuisine and a predominantly Castilian language. It's also a residential town, though I found that the indoor parking is quite a walk to the cable car station, especially with ski boots on, if y'all know what I mean. The parking is cheaper than in Ngum, I think it's 2 euro something for a whole ski day. Fantastic, right? Now up at Ganillo ski area, there's a place called Mon Magic. It's a very well designed theme park for families with small children or beginners in general. Very well set up with clean facilities. Small children can ski through a set up enchanted forest, go on a um, roller coaster ride, coming down the zip line, etc. So it's a good choice for beginners and intermediate skiers. 
It can be icy skiing to this nice theme park from other ski resorts. Um, also, some of the slopes in this area is in the shade. So be on the lookout for some icy patches on slopes. Here is my rating for Ganillo. Skiing area for beginners, 5 stars. Skiing for intermediates, 4 stars. Skiing for advanced, 4 stars. Family friendly, 5 stars. Value, 4 stars. Snowshore, 4 stars. Good snowmaking, but we have to manage a few lifts to get to this area or ski down. Uh, maybe an icy slope like I did a few times when the snow wasn't that good in this area. Après ski, 3 stars. Infrastructure, 5 stars. Fairly new area with um, really good equipment. Right. Oh, that's a big map over there, all lit up, so you can find your way around because Gran Valera is a very big area with different runs, so you really need a map. All right. Oh, there's a draw over there, a green one. It's a river, y'all. Now that is Palau de Gel. So that's where we do ice skating. y'all can see one way in and one way out unless you're going to France of course then Paso La Casa will be the end and continue on in France okay let's walk down and go to the next town nice little town all right then that's the end of our tour that's Telecabina Let's go up the bubble. I'm going to Mo Magic. That's a theme park for children or adults. Family. Right. The end of our Canillo tour. Okay, Doki. See you at El Tate. If there's anything to see. Alright, then. Bye for now. After Canillo is El Tate the heart of Gran Valera. Excellent place to get to other ski areas. Now it's a big ski resort that made up of a huge parking with massive ticket and information station and one chairlift to go up to the main ski area where there are different chairlifts going different directions. Passing through El Tate on the main road, we can see loads of wooden alpine apartments and hotels, but that's uh, about it for El Tate. We can drive through El Tate in 10 seconds flat. This is a place where we can park and um, ski right on the slope down to the chairlift. And some of the slope is right behind a certain hotels with their own parking, like the Nordic Hotel for example. El Dade has the best and steepest runs, but they can be icy at the bottom. Here is my rating for El Tate. Skiing area for beginners, 4 stars. Skiing for intermediates, 5 stars. Skiing for advanced, 5 stars. 
family friendly three stars value four stars snowshore five stars accessibility five stars Apkeski two stars the resort itself is pretty much soulless infrastructure five stars El Dade has better equipment than Arinsel and Pau. Really good um, snow making, but it's not top priority at El Dade. Alright, DTN, we are coming in to Sodeo, another ski resort with maybe two super duper fancy hotels and spas. Famous footballers usually stay at this ski resort when they come to Andorra. Ski slopes are right at the bottom of the Hermitage Hotel and Spa, so we can just ski straight into the hotel and into the spa to get all warmed up. Now that's skiing in style, and my kind of skiing. All right, Ethan, we are at Sodeo, and um, we're just gonna walk around. All right, let's turn this around and check it out. Sport Hotel Hermitage. Very fancy hotel in Sodeo. I think the most fancy hotel in Andorra as far as for ski resorts and all that. Here's a parking for the hotel and underground as well. I think it's better to walk on this side. So the guy is really nice. And he said that I am welcome to check it out. Very beautiful. All right. The view of the ski slopes. Hmm. All the gondola or the bubbles are working, taking people up to the top. And, but look at this. This is a very luxurious hotel. So the spa is down that way and the restaurant he says is down here is a one-star Michelin restaurant. Let's go check this out. Go skiing in style. There's a piano. Oh, Y'all want to hear me play piano? I can sure play the piano and organ in churches. That is spectacular. Well, it's empty probably because it's summertime and everybody at this time is up the mountain enjoying the outdoors jeez or oh, they are in the spa but just gonna go out here and see the view oh there's a little bird amazing so you walk down and you have the area for babies that is for children's learning how to ski area right at the footstep of the hotel and then get on the lift right there or maybe over there as well and go up to the ski station well go up to ski slopes and we are right by the river beautiful hotel Oh, hi! 
Here is my rating for Sodeo. Skin area for beginners, 4 stars. Skin for intermediates, 5 stars. Skin for advanced, 5 stars. Family friendly, 3 stars. Value, 4 stars. Snowshore, 5 stars. Good snow making, easy to get to the top of the world. Accessibility, 4 stars. Abkhaz ski, 3 stars. Infrastructure, 5 stars, of course. Oh, I have just remembered that at Sodeu they do snow driving test with the new Range Rover. They have the circuit around the pond as you can see in the video. And they also play soccer on the slope after ski hours. That is pretty cool. But that was last ski season. So I'm not sure about this ski season though. Just left the hotel. There's lunch. Barbecue Terrace. Sounds good to me. Here we are, just got off the chairlift and going to ski down to Grow Lodge, our next destination. Grow Lodge has a massive ski school and a biggest beginner area in all Andorra. I like skiing at Grow Lodge because the views are awesomely and um, spectacularly beautiful and it's a ski in and out type of place. Most of the time it's sunny, sure, but I can say the same for out in sale. No Après Ski Life here is an absolute ghost town after hours. Here we are at El Spesons restaurant by the frozen lake. It's a very good place to eat and rest before we ski down to the general area of Girl Roach. Basically, Girl Roach is an enormous ski area big parking space and a very fancy hotel right next to one of the ski slopes. The furniture of the outdoor terrace is a total luxury. All covered in fur with fur blankets where we can sunbathe while admiring the stunningly gorgeous view of the white mountain range and watch the skiers coming up and down the slopes sipping on hot wine or hot chocolate as well what's about the snow conditions at grow Roach? well um they can be either icy or slushy depending on the direction of the slope due to an open area with the sun beaming down when the weather is not cold enough i am talking about maybe early or late in the season of course here's my rating for grow Roach. skin area for beginners five stars skin for intermediates five stars Skiing for advanced, 5 stars. Family friendly, 3 star. The resort is in the middle of nowhere. No Afghan skiing, no life. Value, 3 stars. Snowshore, 5 stars. They have very good snow making system in Grow Roach. Accessibility, 5 stars. Afghan ski, Zero star. Infrastructure, five stars. Ski in and ski out. Good connections and fairly good equipments.
Alrighty then, we are now on the chairlift going up to the ridge and ski down to Paso La Casa, the last ski resort at Gran Valera. After this, we will move on to other valleys to cover Alcalis, Pell, and Arincel. Now, it's a full-blown ski resort with different chairlifts up to different sloops for different levels, huge and almost flat areas for beginners to practice. It's a north face valley and there's almost um, always good snow at Paso La Gaza. Now Paso La Gaza is famous for Apkhazki nightlife. In other words, it's the Apkhazki capital of Andorra for party goers, not for family with small children who want to be in bed by 8 p.m. with a quiet surroundings. Though I think Arinsowski Resort is very similar to Pasala Gaza, but for a different crowd, but I will come to that in a minute. Pasala Gaza is also a value shopping center for the French who come to get their cheap gasoline, food, clothes, tobacco, alcohol, and anything else we could think of. Overall, it's a huge, excellent value ski resort, and I guess um, that's why it's overcrowded during the main holidays. The slopes are crowded, the lines to get on the chairlifts are packed like sardines in a can. Here I am sitting on the chairlift enjoying this epic view. Like I said earlier in the video, the views at Grau Raj are spectacular. Here is my rating for Paso La Gaza. Skiing area for beginners, 5 stars. Skiing for intermediates, 4 stars. Skiing for advanced, 3 stars. Family friendly, 2 stars. Value, 5 stars. Snowshore, 5 stars. Accessibility, 5 stars. Après ski, 5 stars. Infrastructure, 5 stars. Now, Paso La Gaza is north facing, so that maintains the snow in good conditions during the day. Okie dokie, I think we are done with Gran Valera. If y'all have anything else to add, please do use the comment section. I thank you and welcome all your comments and inputs. By the way, I did a video of Paso La Gaza as a town. Check it out if y'all are interested or let me know and I'll send out a link, a direct link to the video. Now to drive to Ordino Oculus, we must go through the town of La Masana. The same goes for Pell and Arincel, the only way in and the same way out for the ski resorts. Arcalis Ski Area offers 30 kilometers of runs. There's an 8 kilometers green run from the top of Arcalis right down to the bottom. It's a very good long, easy run for beginners to practice their turns, straight lines, and ski down gentle slopes. There are a few very challenging off-piece runs, a few red runs, a few blue runs, and the 8 kilometers green run. They all meet up with other slopes as we ski down to the bottom. Arcalis is where the annual free ride world tour takes place as it's a world-class ski area. That's why locals and good skiers tend to ski here. Oh, there's an off-piece area that's when the snow is good. We would know when we see the Elspeth Sun's track lift to the area is running. Just take La Balma Red Run from the top of Arcalis going down. The track lift will be on the right hand side to access this off-piece area. That's a very good area to practice off-piece skiing. Loads of moguls, ups and downs, 
twists and turns to go on. Arcalis is usually bitterly cold and windy as the top is at 2,776 meters, so bundle up boys and girls. The snow conditions are generally very good, best in Andorra, plus excellent snow making like in Arinsel. The ride up to Arcalis takes about 30 minutes from La Masana. There is a free ride Val Nord bus that goes up to Arcalis, Pell, and Arinsel. The bus stop is at La Masana. Here they are skiing down the tough steep all-piece run, La Botella d'Arcalis. Also, La Gran Canal, very difficult run is here in this general area. Check it out! Here's my rating for Arcalis. Skiing area for beginners, 3 stars. Skiing for intermediates, 4 stars. Skiing for advanced, 5 stars. Family friendly, 1 star. Value, four stars snowshore five stars excellent snow condition along with good snow making system accessibility one star apka ski zero star infrastructure five stars better newer chairlifts than pal and adding cell new gondolas some with glass bottom for the view of the slope and terrain below Fantastic! Okie dokie, moving on to Arinsel. Now, this ski resort has a gondola station right in the smack middle of the town with two huge free parkings. A chairlift station at the end of the town where the Patagonia and Ushuai hotels are. We can also continue driving all the way up to Arinsel's top ski station. That's only when the snow on the Maradas front is not in good condition or too icy. The Maradas run is the run that goes back down to the chairlift. So when there's lack of snow or is icy, I do recommend taking the gondola up or drive up to Arinsal. Top station, don't take the chairlift as y'all will have to ski down the Maradas run, which is not hard, but it can be icy as part of this run is in the shade. Another tip to remember if y'all are skiing in Arinsel. Now Arinsel is very snow sure with excellent snow making when needed. The ski area is small and easy to manage without getting lost like at Gran Valera. Perfect for families with small children or groups of beginners. That's what I meant earlier, that adding sale is for a different type of crowd. Also, adding sale has an excellent ski school. Since the area is so small, it's very easy to control, easy to keep an eye on where everyone is. Parents can go off skiing while their children can be with ski instructors at the beginner's area. But since the area is small, parents can be where their children are in a jiffy. Very unlike Grand Valera ski areas. To me, adding self itself is a bit similar to Paso La Gaza. It's a full-blown ski resort. It's very lively in the evening with a series of bars and restaurants along the river. The parties can go on at all hours. 
I have done a lot of ski and Dora videos, including Upcast Ski Life and Out in Sale. So do check them out if y'all are interested in this resort. Before I forget, one thing very important, winter tires. They are required by Andorran law starting from November all the way up to the month of May. It's okay to drive in Andorra Vella, I found, but up the roads to ski resorts is another matter entirely, especially when Mother Nature is being generous with her gift of snow. So be prepared if y'all are coming in to Andorra by car. Anyway, just have winter tires just to be safe. Here is my rating for out in sale. Skiing area for beginners, 5 stars. Skiing for intermediates, 4 stars. Skiing for advanced, 3 stars. Family friendly, 5 stars. Value, 5 stars. Snowshore, 5 stars. Very good snow making system. Accessibility, 5 stars. Après ski, 5 stars. Infrastructure, 2 stars. Slow chair lifts, we call it the chair of despair. And the gondolas are very old, decrepit. I went on it once and never again. It was not a nice gondola experience. Oh, the drag lift up to the top is always broken down. Not to mention the drag lift to La Capa, which is rarely open, is diesel powered. Can y'all even believe it? Despite of all that, I always enjoy my skiing at Adin Sale and have tons of up ski fun.
flight DDN. We are now driving up to Pau. Pau ski station is connected to Arinsel by a cable car or vice versa. Altogether, these two ski resorts offer another 60 kilometers of runs. The top of Pau is at 2,358 meters, a bit lower than the top of Arinsel, which is at 2,560 meters. So sometimes the snow can be better at Arinsel and not so good at Pell. At Pell, we could ski up piste in the woods when the snow is really, really good. The snow condition in Pell is a hit and miss, I found. A lot of ski slopes are in the shade, so they can be icy. Different snow conditions on one ski slopes, if y'all know what I mean. Pell has a busy ski school. It's crowded on weekends and mostly Spanish skiers who come up by cars on weekends. So the big parking can be filled up quickly. There are three ways to get to Pau Ski Station. One is to drive the wiggly waggly road up to a massive parking which is free by the way. Two, we can take the gondola from the town of La Masana up. Three, take the cable car from the top of Arinsaugi station down to Pau. Well, or we can just drive up to go to La Botella where the cable car is to start skiing or take the cable car up to Arinsau. Your choice. Me, I usually take the cable car down to Pau as the drive to Arinsau is shorter and I can ski in Arinsau then cross over to Pau. There's my ski instructor showing off. She's such a show off. Because he can. Okay, I think I stop now. My hands are frozen. Here's my rating for Pal. Skin area for beginners, five stars. Skin for intermediates, four stars. Skin for advanced, three stars. Family friendly, four stars. Value, five stars. Snowshore, three stars. Accessibility, three stars. Apresky, zero star. It's a ghost town after hours. Infrastructure, two stars. Very old chairlifts. They are so low to the ground. They are okay for children or short people. And I'm not even a tall person. Hi. All right, all right, all right. I think I got all the endurance ski resorts down. And here are my picks. Best family resort, Arinsel. Best for beginners, Arinsel, Ganillo, Grorot, Pau, but not in any particular order, okay? Best après ski, Pasa La Gaza. Best luxury resorts, Sodeu and Grow Roach. Best for ski in and out, Pasa La Gaza, Arculus and Grow Roach. Best restaurant, Sodeu. Best restaurant value, anywhere else but Sodeu. Best skiing overall, Arculus. Alright, Didian, one last thing. At Gran Valera, there is a maze of runs, so we must be really careful where we are going, or we might end up at a run that we need to go down that it may be shut due to icy conditions or lack of snow or even the chairlift that we need to get on is not running due to technical issues or high wind then we must know the alternative one to ski down usually they are pretty good at redirecting us to an alternative route but it's um, good to have a general knowledge of the area we are skiing in i have done quite a number of videos in reference to how to get from one place to another so please do check them out
must come here at night. We will return. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe if you do. I thank you for watching. And see you on the next video. Bye.